All right. There it is. I have not played the queen, pawn to queen for today. That's out of respect for my opponent. Even though he knocks over pawns. I'm not used to having mics on the board. Mics? Only a man would play that move. Okay, I didn't know. But let me take this off. What's that? says he can do it. He, he might be able to do it. All right, let's see what's going on. I should do it more king, but I'm not going to. He missed queen Bishop takes. He missed bishop what? What did he miss? Bishop takes f6. Oh. He did, huh? Even though you said it, never mind. Said it, never mind. Hmm. Well. Let's go here. There? Mm -hmm. Huh. All right, let's go here. It's a thing, boys. That move to me? All right, forward into the breach. No, 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 no. Okay, maybe. All right, let me go in. This won't hurt long, I promised. Oh, oh sorry. Mm -hmm. 
He dares to take my pawn. Is that even nice? I must attack. Is there one on D3 or um, C3? I don't know. Steve. Have you tried playing odds against us? Say what? Like rook odds? Because we're bad. Don't worry, this one won't only hurt a little while. Heavy breathing won't help. Might a little bit. What? There should be a law. Isn't there a law about this? It wasn't really nasty, it was kind of, you know, inspired. Finesse. Finesse, I get finesse. Hey guys, Brian here, and um, I hear that chest ambulance coming, and that was a nasty trap and a nasty meet, but uh, Black played really good. He was, he's a very good player, he just fell susceptible to that one trap, and Carl took advantage, and it was a fun game to watch nonetheless, and... Uh, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out all the cool links in the video description if you like the chess gear, especially that chess clock. It's my favorite clock. Um, their Amazon links are there. You can also get Carl a cup of coffee, coffee if you want. And um, yeah, let's go over the game to see what we can learn from it. All right, so in this position, Carl played queen c2 guarding the pawn, but we saw what happened, right? Knight took, and if you guys were wondering why can't um, Carl take the uh, the knight with the queen. If he does, then bishop comes in with the check, and oof, this is gonna be nasty. If you take with the pawn, you know what happens, right? Yeah. So obviously, you don't want to take with the pawn. King up, bishop takes, and rook over. Knight develops, and. Carl can maybe castle by hand here. It's going to take some time, but um, black is definitely better here. So going all the way back here, instead of queen c2, what would have been another move for white to prevent all of that? One move to consider is bishop back. hate to move backwards, but sometimes it may be good. Obviously now this doesn't work because... Queen is no longer the knight's no longer pinned, and you've got this covered attack. So, one one idea to consider. But let's go later on in this position and 
in this game, um, in this position, black played e6, but let's go move back, pause video, what would have been another move for, for black here? Alright, one move to consider is d3, and uh, bishop is going to get out of the way, and you have the queen check, king over, and now you can push e6, and kind of kick the knight away and by doing so what happens is you have that beautiful rook behind that beautiful pass pawn and now black can push d2 and it's crazy on move 17 black has a pass pawn that's one square away from queening and um, it's going to take some work um, but it's definitely adding a lot of pr pressure to white's position he's going to have to defend a lot and black probably going to double up here add even more backup and pressure to this pass pawn so one way that black could have played another way that black could have uh, played that position um, but yeah computer has black at negative 4.8 here so definitely winning so that's a cool line to learn and let's go here in this position we saw what happened when the uh, queen came in here and it's just it's it's too crowded and not enough escape routes here for just the queen so going back here just bringing the queen out would have been maybe another move to consider but hard to see when you're the one playing all right let's go here in this position and in the game we had queen takes pawn but let's go move back pause the video what would have been what's another kind of cute tactic here for white all right starts off with do you guys see it give you a little bit more time rook takes g7 and on the next move white is going to deliver mate so black must take can't take with the king obviously because of the queen so rook takes and by doing so this rook is no longer defended so check and it's a nice little um, tactic there for white but let's go here in this position and here it's a mate in five, so if you want to pause the video, see if you guys can find it. All right, it starts off with bishop e6, and um, what what White ultimately wants to do is uh, bring his queen here, and with the bishop queen battery checkmate the king right here on the square and there's nothing really white I mean black can do black doesn't really have any good moves here um, let's just say rook h6 then you have rook takes and if rook takes then you have the check here and rook back and mate so going back here after rook takes um, again no really good moves either doesn't really matter if you know rook that's just kind of delays the inevitable um, I'm gonna bring the queen over here to um, guard this square and then no good moves for black and white's just going to force the uh, the mate there so uh, another mate in five there cool 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 um, it's always good to kind of have those mate in X puzzles helps develop calculation skills so Yep, there it is. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the analysis. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, and thanks. I'll see you guys later.